Now I have a bucket full of clean, fresh water. I should pick it up before it's gone. This lighthouse was built in 1889 by the famous sailor Red Eye Ferdinand. I better clean this before Vanya sees it. Peter, what are you going to do about the mess you've made? Just leave? Don't want to say anything? <laughs> All right. All right. Just go away. Nice to see you, Mr. Spencer. It's been a long time. Hi, Mizuki. I locked myself up in the lab for a while to discover new solutions. Did it work? Yes. The results are right here. Although some of them are very practical, I focused more on developing interesting, outside-the-box solutions. Cool. I love fun inventions. This yellow one, for example, is an alarm clock. Pour it into a glass vase, and in the morning it creates tiny sun-shaped bubbles that, when they pop, play a musical note and wake you up. That's so exciting. It wouldn't be of any use for me, though. I already have insomnia. Do you have something for that? I do. This white solution. It metaphysically transports you to snowy mountains so cold that you'll become numb and sleepy. How is this even possible? Well... I'm exaggerating, but if you pour this on anything, it freezes without dying. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on humans or animals yet. Simpler organisms are fine, though. I love it. I'll take it. As always, it's free for you. Please take a bottle. Mr. Spencer had nice things to say about this cold liquid. If it turns out good, I'll buy a big jar. Barbara, look what I found for you. I'm sure you'll be surprised. It's impossible. Did, did you really find this ice flower for me? I guess I ruined your only reason to go to the South Pole. Are you kidding me? I didn't want to go anyway, and now we have a great reason. <laughs> I want you to have something with me. Anything you want. Just pick it up and it's yours. Okay, thanks. Even though half of my plants try out and die, I still want to try my chances. I wanted to know how this device works since I was a kid. <sighs> it was heavy. I should put something smelly in it first. Funny idea. But maybe Hmm. Which one of these odors will lure out the mouse? Aha! 
The smell of the peanut has lured the mouse out of his tiny house. It went straight in. I hope I won't flood the poor mouse's house. So those were the instant seeds of bloody mint. My mother used to make a drink using those when I was a child that would daze me for a few hours when I drink it. Some small taps of the dirt pile. Perhaps he gets up? I'm sorry. I just wanted to make you get up. Oh, I'm sorry. I had never taken something out of someone's hand like this. Shameful. Looks like someone wanted to tell us about this historic conflict between the frogs and the giant worms. I wonder if the frogs in the lake know something about this. Hey frogs, do you hear me? Do you understand me? We do! Shout! Of course we understand! Do we know where the army of frogs? I saw an engraving on the wall in the sewers. It seems to suggest you have something to do with the dark force in the sewers. You guess right! That's an engraving that I read about! The sea frog. So can you help me fight the dark forces? My head feels like it'll explode after just a few seconds with them. The real battle with the dark forces is in the mind. You mean the giant worm was so strong that even the army of frogs couldn't defeat it? Obviously, you have no idea about the creatures around you. In our army, 30 frogs chose to retire after battle. Some of them died before they could defeat the giant worm. Some of them were killed by the frogs. What can I do to help you back onto your feet? I really need your help. Let me pick it up before someone puts magic in this one. Would you chew these leaves? Just don't swallow. I apologize for not telling you that this herb would numb your mouth. But it feels good, right? Like you've gone to a different world. The first bite I took, I wanted to spit it all out. But I'm a good moose and ate the whole thing. Oh, I think I'm growing wings. Hey, you can add that to your odd experiences. I'm flying! Ugh, it's so sticky.
Oh, my. Did that snitching narc tell on the dap chick to the police? Hey, you there, hiding in the trash can. Who are you? Are you the super frog? If I'm right, show yourself. Little flies, I promise I'll free you. Tongue this long could only belong to a giant frog. Could you come out? I need you. It's an urgent matter. All right, all right, I'm out. Are you happy? What do you want from me? The army of frogs has sent me to ask you for the magic words. That army still exists. I thought they lost half their numbers in the battle against the giant worm. Yes, they told me about the battle. Apparently, it was gruesome. Anyway, that's all in the past for me. Take a look at my magic menu and choose whatever they can use. I don't see a menu. You will only see it when I want you to see it. A magic menu is not something for just anybody to see. You may choose your desired magic from my special magic menu, and I'll read it for you. When I sing the magic words, go and give them to the army of frogs. They'll give you an enchantment that summons me inside your head whenever you need the help. Okay. Would you please read an effective spell for me if you have one? A number, two creatures, and an action? So, I guess a number of creatures do something with some other creatures. I wonder how many of the frogs remain. According to the frogs, they were fighting the giant worm for a long time. Hmm... I have a feeling that this magic is going to be useful. Funny idea, but maybe later. If you told me you could pour words into a jar, I would have thought that's crazy. You may choose your desired magic from my special when I s And here are the magic words. Hundreds of frogs are cheering in my head and shouting, Fight the giant worm! I'm a little afraid that my head's going to be a battleground. What just happened? 
happened? My head is alright. The waves are gone. The super fog must be behind this. What's this snow monkey doing in the sewers? Look at that tent. I wonder if he's hiding my name tag inside. I've heard that snow monkeys like to relax in hot springs. Maybe I could warm up the water in here. The Alembic body has gotten so hot you can't touch it. The only thing left from the Scarecrow is this tiny hole. Let me open up the hole a little bit. This hole must lead to an empty space down there. Maybe if I direct some light to this hole, something happens. I can't believe my eyes. A snow monkey in a city sewer? Why don't you say anything? I'm sure you can understand me. Why are you holding your tongue back? Hey, did you steal my name? Did you? Answer me. Monkey, you think I don't know how to make you talk. The numbing solution should be working in a moment, and you will be able to keep your mouth shut. What? Oh, what did you put in the water? See, you talk. What did you do? I can't focus. What do you want from me? How did you find this place? Listen, I know everything. If you return my name, I won't tell anybody about this place. I can't. Uh, what name? I don't know what you are talking about. I don't have any desire for anyone's name. Don't lie. Do you want me to come back with city agents? No, no, wait! I'd... I'd like to negotiate. It's hard work stealing names. Too hard to give them up so easy. What did you do? I can't focus. What do you- Listen, I can't- Don't lie. No, no, wait! There are some valuable things to add to your collection. Look! There are the names of some of the bravest men the past century. Oh my god, how did you find these? These are those soldiers who were killed with a baseball bat in World War II. See? I have valuable things. Do we have a deal now? Sure! Wow, seeing these names is heavenly. To the tent! The Morico knew something. Do you have anything to do with her death? No, no. I was in love with her. She was so pretty. Prettier than you, even. But why did you steal her name? I don't know. When I see a name I like, I have to snatch it. It's been like this ever since I was a baby on my mother's back. How did you come across our names? I've been watching you since your time in high school. I came to you to find Moriko's name. I was so attracted to it. How did you find the code for the safe? I couldn't remember it myself. 
I made you forget the code. Moriko's cats don't help just you. I visited her first in the woods. Why did you pick up my name too? I saw it sitting there, so I snatched it. To be honest, I didn't even have a second to look at it. Then could you give it back, please? Certainly. A deal is a deal. Um, what was your name again? My name? It started with an M. Mm, let me think. Don't rush, you'll remember. Mm, Miro... Oh, God. Do I have to forget again right now? We have all the time in the world. All the time in the world. True. Even if I stay here for days, no one will notice. Okay, so while you try to remember, I'll go make some tea. It'll calm your nerves. We can get to know each other better, right? It's been a long time since I talked with someone for so long. The monkey knows a lot of strange things about the owners of the names he's collected. And about me, too. Sorry, but I'm not saying what things he knew. They're not very fond memories. He suggested that I go to the abandoned mines I always see in my dreams. He also packed his things and followed along for a little. The sewers aren't safe for him anymore. I took this picture before he left. I expected to see an old man, but it looks like he was actually just a lonely snow monkey. Even though I'm here alone at night, I don't feel afraid at all. I'm going to be here till morning and bury all my troubles right here. When I go back home, Things probably aren't going to be great again all of a sudden, but I'll at least have my name. Something that is only mine.